Hello, everyone. My name is Joan Kaler. Welcome to Freedom from Fear, Just Tap It. Today, I want to talk about the science of tapping. The science of tapping because so many people are always saying, Joan, this is so woo-woo. Why do you want to teach emotional freedom techniques or also known as tapping? Because it works. 99% of the time it works. Really, the only time it doesn't work is if there is stuck energy in another part of the energy system, which we will talk about later. However, what I'm really thrilled is about is that in this day and age, I'm filming this recording in 2019. We finally have evidence-based, clinical evidence-based research. The data supports that tapping is helpful. What I'm going to do today is show you a short video from the documentary, The Science of Tapping. I want you to see this. I want you to learn what is possible when you use emotional freedom techniques. Whether you do EFT tapping on your own from YouTube videos, and I hope if you use YouTube videos that you're using my YouTube videos, also my courses on Udemy that I have, it's still global because I don't know you yet. However, those videos will really help to explain what EFT is in a very succinct, methodical way because I wanna teach you high quality tapping. So the purpose of this podcast today is to bring the science and the data into view. You will learn more about what tapping is all about. You will learn from the researchers themselves. Then we're gonna talk about the video a little bit. So I'm gonna share my screen because I want you all to see what this is about. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Bear with me. Okay, so here we are at the science of tapping. And this is a short five minute promo. The entire documentary can be seen on the science of tapping, but that has a copyright on it, so I can't show it to you. So let's do the promo first, and then we're going to talk about this. Here we go. How does it work? Because it is so strange. It has nothing to do with anything we learned in graduate school. So one of the biggest hurdles that I and others find is that it sounds like magic to introduce this. <laughs> I mean, how can something that looks so simple really do anything, right? And how can any one intervention help such a wide variety of issues? EFT was definitely outside the academic box when I started doing it. There was only one paper uh, that was a randomized controlled trial that, that could be offered as evidence-based medicine. Naturally, people's first reaction is it looks funny. There's a lot of things we now take for granted, though, that probably looked really funny at first. Even more important to me and other professionals is that it's grown and expanded due to an ongoing body of pretty impressive clinical research. When I first saw the results that were possible with EFT or tapping, I needed to see for myself would it hold up under scientific scrutiny. So I began conducting clinical research trials. Research on tapping continues to be conducted at renowned academic and scientific institutions internationally. The evidence-supported published studies helped to verify the findings of the early adapters and the millions of people around the world who are applying this safe and effective approach today. Signs of increased healing processes occur when using this tapping stimulation, affecting the electromagnetic centers and pathways throughout our bodies while we focus on conscious and unconscious feelings, sensations, and memories. Now, for a long time, scientists weren't really convinced about this connection between these places of electrical skin conductivity and the meridian acupoints. To date, there are more than 100 studies and review articles published in professional peer-reviewed journals showing tapping to be effective and working quite rapidly and with a wide variety of issues and populations. 
And when you stimulate certain acupuncture points, it sends signals to the amygdala, the part of the brain that codes threat, the part of the brain that codes many emotions. And what tapping does is it reduces the amount of arousal in the amygdala. So if something from your past is unresolved for some reason, maybe it was too emotionally overwhelming, then to the brain and the limbic system, it's as if the threat is still ongoing. And if that's happening, then the body's stress response is ongoing as well. The intelligence of the body doesn't want to be unhappy. The body is just stuck. The idea that every trauma you have uh, gets perceived by your body uh, and then stored as a basically malware or software program in your acupuncture meridians. And when you do EFT, you're essentially running the program just long enough to hit the delete key and uninstall the program. So the person then is no longer anchored to the past and the same emotion is no longer the same chemical feedback from the environment that keeps the same gene turned on and the other gene turned off. So it's kind of like watching a movie now instead of actually reliving it. So you open file, the malware is gone, that's emotional freedom. And so you do hear things that sound absolutely miraculous, but it's not the tapping that's miraculous, it's your body. You're going to see very strong acceptance to physical change, very strong chemical changes, and the person is going to really be reborn again biologically. So who knows what we'll uncover as the research continues to be published. What we already have is a scientifically valid foundation of understanding for how tapping may work. I knew that there was something about this tapping thing that was making a big difference from every other thing I had ever tried. I'm interested in things that work, and EFT works. I'd been through 14 years of therapy on and off and had been digging in there, digging in there for a long time, and EFT did things that therapy never reached. It's spreading quickly because it's so simple. That's one of the greatest virtues. It's going to change the world. The Science of Tapping Project, three videos to meet any presentation need, plus a dedicated website with the latest research on tapping techniques and an international membership forum. Visit scienceoftapping.com to learn more. All right, so that is the video. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to a little bit more about this website. For instance, for those of you who are life coaches, therapists, practitioners of emotional freedom techniques, I strongly encourage you to get this because there is, I've, purchased it. I became a member of the Science of Tapping, so I can show this whenever I teach. It's just the most phenomenal documentary you could ever hope for. There are individual videos on all these experts, okay? This is what we need to show. First of all, if you're interested in EFT and want to learn more about the science, this documentary is, I think, mandatory. If you're a practitioner, if you're a coach, if you're a therapist, this documentary is so important for you. If you teach EFT, this is so important because you will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi wherever you teach and live stream the videos. There is a 17-minute video. Let me just scroll up here and see if I can find that. Okay, so there are DVDs for those of you who still have DVDs. And there is a 30-minute video. Okay, so directory. There's a directory here. It's really cool. Look at this. Okay, practitioner directory. If you're a practitioner, look at all the different filters there are for this. I'm listed on here. There are others who are listed on here for all the different situations that you can tap on. Okay, it's just amazing. And then, I know I'm on here somewhere. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I am in here. Okay. And then we go back up. About tapping. Ah, oh, thanks to Craig Wiener and Alina Frank for, for producing this documentary. It's simply amazing. Okay, more about the latest research. I mean, this is chock full. So the reason I'm doing a podcast on this today is because I want to introduce the science to you. There will be more. I want you to see that this is not just, yes, this is based in Chinese medicine. Yes, EFT combines cognitive behavior therapy with ancient Chinese medicine with the same points that acupuncture uses, but it's evidence-based. Yes, it works most of the time. And if it doesn't seem to work, that's because you're not getting specific enough. Because for my clients, I use this every single day. And for my clients, it brings a tremendous amount of relief to them. As we take a look at what's called the legs of the table. So you have a limiting belief that's on top of the table. And then the legs that are holding up the table are the limiting the events in our lives, the traumas and events in our lives that hold up that limiting belief, hold up that trauma. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen right now because I want to get back here. Whenever you have a limiting belief, whenever you have a trauma, that's holding up the table, the trauma, the unhappy events are holding up the limiting belief or holding up the anxiety, holding up to the depression. So why wouldn't someone want to learn about emotional freedom techniques if they could, if their client or they themselves could be relieved of that distress, relieved of that depression, relieved of the root causes of the anxiety and depression. Why wouldn't someone want to do that? And then maybe, I'm not saying definitely because no, always consult with your doctor, but you might be able to in the future, um, reduce the amount of medication that you're on, but consult with your doctor. Please just never, ever, ever go off medication. Never do that. I'm telling you right now. However, you might be able to reduce it and you might be able to use a more natural approach. Why wouldn't someone want to use a more holistic, integrative approach? to treat whatever is bothering them. As a therapist, I talk with people every day about anxiety and depression. My specialty, hair pulling and skin picking, it brings so much relief. Tapping brings so much relief to my clients and to millions of people around the world. This podcast today is about bringing information to you, about bring, bringing the evidence of EFT to you so that you know that this is not just some random thing that someone dreamed up, but it really has science behind it. I will be creating more podcasts talking about the science.